Deadly? Devastating. Fires move quickly, sometimes too fast to outrun. In a flashover, a fire in certain areas will move 100 yards in 19 seconds, so it's moving pretty quick. That's 91 meters, about three times the length of a basketball court. At those speeds, it can quickly trap a firefighter. When that happens, they need shelter. The fire shelter was designed for the firefighters who didn't have basically anywhere to go in his escape route. Okay, he couldn't get to his safety zone, uh, couldn't outrun the fire. The fire passes over the firefighters. It's, like a it's called a flashover. And this can last a minute to two minutes. You know, generally that's about the extent of it. But that amount of time, you know, you got to have, you know, the protection to uh, save the life. These fire shelters were used in 2013 in a wildfire that killed 19 Arizona firefighters. Jim wants to make sure that doesn't happen again. He wants to help firefighters stay alive. We're incorporating a, a fire blanket, basically, that's been on the space shuttle over the last 20, 30 years. And, I have a three, over a 3,000 degree melting point. And then we've developed very high temperature 3,000 degree spray that gives the firefighter more time. Our main goal today is to produce a, a realistic scenario of how the fire shelter reacts to a wildland fire. But first, Jim's taking things into his own hands. So my hand's directly underneath it, you can see. With a sample of his new material treated with the heat proof spray. And that's the penny. So it's still going to go through the foil, but it's not going to get through the fire blanket. The underside of Jim's hand was exposed to air, but that's not the case for a firefighter who's completely covered. As the flames pass over the top, they're cooking underneath. Today, the team's going to pit the new and the old fire shelters against each other. To see how they compare, they'll measure the temperature inside. <laughs> We have a, an oven thermometer with a remote sensor on there and it's 73 degrees underneath the shelter now. It got hot quickly, hot enough to boil water. It's a lot of heat. You can start to smell the uh, smell the rubber from the, uh, the dummy coming off of, his, off of his head. And there's some charring starting to happen in there. This is charring of the Nomex from the direct heat of the fire coming through the shelter. This is the current shelter, okay? This is without any of the spray or anything on it. You could survive it, but at the same time, you're gonna have some, some injuries. What we're trying to do with the new shelter and the, and the spray is to be able to provide the actual coverage that they need, the safety that they need, and not have any injuries if they ever have to deploy a shelter. Time to test Jim's NASA-inspired fire blanket under the torch. This one is, has got the quarter inch blanket in it, but it also has on the outside, it has the spray that we've that has been developed. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna give double the protection. So after two minutes with the current fire shelter, temperatures reached 232 degrees. Under our fire shelter, it got up to 106. Uh, easily survivable. The fire shelter, this new generation stuff that Sunseeker has could potentially be a game changer. But the only way to really know how it feels is to try it on an actual firefighter. Even fully geared up, he's not as safe as he could be. Our structured gear is flame resistant. It's not flame proof. And I certainly couldn't hold a blowtorch to it to uh, like we did the fire shelter and, uh, and be unscathed. Mark Armanta is going to take one for the team. Let's get it done. This torch is producing on the outside 3,000 degrees. A little, warm, a little bit warm, but nothing intolerable. The only heat that I'm getting right now is the heat that's shooting over the top, coming over on top of my helmet and down this way. But a little bit warm on the shoulder but nothing that is unbearable. Oh, that is like hot. Three to four minutes, maybe five minutes max doing this. If you get a burn over, you're, you're looking at maybe two to three minutes max of that thing burning over. 
with that much heat. At least we've been able to, to prove the materials work now. Using the fire shelter is always a last resort, so knowing it stands up is reassuring. I think Sunseeker is really just on the very verge of exploring what the possibilities are for some of these technologies.